So I'm in the Zlin Aviation Shock Ultra in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Uh, I've sorted out my graphics problems that I had yesterday. Everything is running at Ultra. So this time we should see some good sights. So I put in the coordinates for the Colosseum. So it should look a lot better than it did yesterday because yesterday it just looked like a, a, some apartments. That that looks much better. Wow! See, it, it practically looks photographic. That's pretty impressive, I have to say. You even get the shadow. That is nice. Now what I'd like to do is find St. Peter's St. Peter's Square in the Vatican. I think this is it just over here. Somebody writing in Arabic on the chat. I, I, I well, obviously I can't. I can't speak or read Arabic. <coughs> Sorry about that. No, <laughs> I didn't improve it. I fixed it, Logan. When I um, updated, it changed some of my graphics settings, which was rather frustrating yesterday because it didn't look that impressive yesterday, did it? But it's back to its brilliant high resolution today. It's kind of fun to fly places that you've actually been to. I've been to... Ah, hello sir, I'm very well. Thank you for uh, going to English. I'm good. That doesn't entirely surprise me, Logan, with the pandemic and everything, and every you know a lot of people being at home and uh, playing games. So, pretty impressed with Rome. 
at say. Hey Karen, RC Buildmaster, how you doing? So we're uh, running a, an hour long live stream on the Essential RC YouTube channel. I'm in Rome. Now I got my, I think I got mine off Amazon a long, uh, couple of years back. Amazon or eBay. Or, you know, I would have Googled and found the best price, shopped around. Could do. Kerem's asking to go to um, Istanbul or Amsterdam. I'm just going to take a quick wander over here. I haven't been to either of those cities. Sounds like a fun thing to do. This looks like a stadium. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Football stadium down there. Okay, so that's Rome. I want to do a few locations. So, um, Lukla, yes. Uh, I've tried that. I have done that. Depends what aircraft you do it in. But let's do, um, should we do Amsterdam? Now, uh, I don't really want to go start at an airport. So what I do is I go to Bing Maps. And I put in the city name so that I can start in the air. city so come on Amsterdam got those coordinates and then I can put them in here boom set as departure and it will start me at 1500 feet fly that's the quickest way to do it so if you go to Bing Maps search for it and then right click and copy in the coordinates rather than starting at an airport every time much quicker so I assume that you've been to Amsterdam Karim and that's why you're asking It's a few seconds to load. I'm running it off a solid state drive, so it's not too bad. Let's, uh, I'll turn off my webcam. Don't need to see my face, do you? And here we go. So we should be over Amsterdam. Not convinced. I think that's the city in the distance, isn't it? Over here. Oh, look. See the windmill? Well, the wind, the wind turbine, and it's actually moving. That's quite clever. Generally, the objects on the ground don't move.
Oh, okay. I've been to Rotterdam. I was on a cruise, and we were due to stop at uh, Amsterdam, but actually they uh, we couldn't get into the port because it was of the weather. So we went to Rotterdam. Wasn't that bad? It's quite nice visit. Right, so let's. Uh, I'm at full throttle, headed towards the city. Amsterdam, en route. You see the motorway down there, freeway. Is this a cathedral or a... So we're not going to spend too long in any one location. It's just some high-rise buildings. Anyway, this is Amsterdam. Uh, live multiplayer, yes. Uh, no, you can't communicate between the players, unfortunately. You can create groups, but there's no way of talking with your friends. You have to use, you'd have to use something else, like a chat app or something like that. Anyway, that's um, that's Amsterdam. So, are there? Well, why can't I see them then? It's a bit hard to tell where the centre of Amsterdam is. Maybe they just haven't modelled the city that, that well. Is it maybe over there down the down the river? I'm not certain. It's all a bit flat, isn't it? Or is it behind us down there? I don't know. It's hard to tell where the centre of Amsterdam is. Is it a bit flat? All right. Anyway, so I think we'll move on. Uh, Lukla. Somebody was asking. So let's. Uh, Let's see if we can find Lukla Airport. I think I can find it. Lukla. Lukla Airport is VNLK, I think. So we'll do that. We're going to start from there. We're going to change it to daytime. And we'll choose something a little more uh, challenging, shall we say. Should we try something like the Beechcraft? Yeah, that should be good. Fly. So, uh, where is this? Is uh, Luke Clare is what? In what part of the world? Do you want it? Um, I did. I did just find actually information on it. Luke Clare, 
cliff and upslope, this airport is well known for its dangers. We challenge you to take big aircrafts to this scary location. So it's in Nepal. It's at the base of Everest. It's where people fly into if they're going to try and climb Everest, I think. So we're going to take off and then we're going to turn around and we're going to try and land. So you, all you lot are sitting back there. Could you please do up your seat belts? We're about to take off. Um, now I'm, my rudder control is on the um, is on the keyboard. I'm afraid. Okay, handbrake is off. Uh, flaps down. Here we go. <laughs> the runway's in uh, in front of me. I can tell you've never been here before, Karim. Flaps up, gear up. Ah, uh, you're very welcome, Buildmaster. So we're just going to fly down the canyon a little bit. And then we're going to try and land. Yeah. I just wanted to check. I could navigate back. No promises. So we're going to hug the side of the canyon here and do a turn. Quite a bit of turbulence off these hills. Okay. So landing gear down. There's the strip, flaps, on approach. Watching our airspeed, don't want to come in too hot. Dropping a bit of altitude.
There we go. First time. <laughs> that is pretty good. How about that? Blimey! <laughs> Executed to perfection. Wow! <laughs> I'm amazed at that. I was literally on the verge, literally on the verge of stall. Yeah, oh, well I did it. What can I tell you? I love that. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> While I'm recovering from the shock of my perfect landing, um, we're going to go somewhere, I'm going to go and see another site that you may not have seen before. Um, I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's called Crater Lake in Oregon, in the US. It's kind of a quite a scenic thing to go and look at, so we'll go and we're going to take a quick look at that. Set the time. Kind of fun to go and look at things you've not seen before. It's all a question of choosing the right thing. I think that would be the right aircraft to fly in and out of Lukla into if you're carrying passengers. Um, I don't think you'd do it with a jet. So I hope I'm in the right place. Hmm. I'm not convinced. It's quite scenic, but I don't think I don't think this is what I don't think this is what I was expecting. <coughs> I'm just going to go to Bing Maps quickly while I'm flying. Great uh, Lake. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to find this this place. Yeah, I think it's not the Crater Lake I was thinking of though. Never mind. We'll choose another location. Let's go to, how about Shanghai? Still beautiful. So, it's definitely a lake. So, Shanghai, I'll tell you what we'll do, I'm actually going to go to Bing Maps again, oh, I'm just typing it in, Shanghai, China, Paste that in here. Again, we set as departure, we change it to daytime, and we're going to choose a Cessna citation because it is quite a, a big location. Let's do that, and we're good. Fly. 
So we're off to Shanghai in China. Fairly successful so far. <clears throat> I did Shanghai earlier today, it's a sprawling city, it's just so much of it. Any other suggestions on some cities or points of interest? Welcome. Nearly there. Loch Ness. We could do Loch Ness. I don't think we'd see Nessie. Come on. It's always that final little bit that takes the long, longest. How many people we got on the stream? 29. Not good, not bad. It's a bit early, isn't it? Nearly there. Oh, is it? In Shanghai is quite a quite a lot of detail, I suspect. <laughs> yes. So, It's not what I was expecting, actually. huge what I'm interested you see that building down there that's got the gap I was wondering if I could fly through that 
So here we go. Need to drop some altitude. No, this is Shanghai. Apparently. This way and then turn. See that building? Looks a bit like a cheese grater. What do you think? <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it this time. Oh, missed. Never mind. Anyway, out of Shanghai. Caroline is saying James Bond Island, man with a golden gun. All right, I don't think it will like those coordinates. I think they have to be, you can't put east and west, but let's give it a go, hold on. Um, if I put those into Bing Maps, it might translate. Bing, Bing, Bing Maps. So I'll put those in there. All right, I'm trusting you, Caroline. To do that, let's change back to the bush plane because it's just a bit too hard work. Or actually, yeah, no, let's stick with that. Bush plane's good enough, isn't it? Or it just, it just doesn't move very quick, does it? Let's try it twin. Let's go back to the beach craft. <coughs> uh, oh, well done. I didn't select the destination. I did. Oh, God's sake. It is a bit quirky. Set as departure. Fly. Here we go. Caroline's request. Oh, sorry, you said use the seaplane. Oh, sorry. Well, let's... Sorry, should have chosen the seat thing. Nice, Harry. <laughs> Doesn't really achieve anything. Too late, mate. A year out of here. Hide user on this channel. Very easily done. Oh, such a shame. You do get these kids thinking they can just throw in abuse. Well, I put in the coordinates. Oh, why is it complaining about landing here? Yes, all in 3D. Is that the island in front of us, do you think? I put in your coordinates. I'm trying to trim out for level flight. Tiny island, this one in front of us. It's when I go zero throttle it doesn't like it. 
Oh, behind and to the left. All right, turning around. Although I think you're late, you're uh, seeing the stream later. I, I think this is it. Is that a landing strip? No. I could try and land. Oh, really? All right, so it must have been back the other way then. Mark, I'm using a Thrustmaster A10 joystick and Holtus. So I've reversed direction, Caroline, so is it this one? <clears throat> ah. The one to the right or the one to the left? Oh, that one. Tiny island. No, I'm not surprised by that. Worth trying. Right, okay. Somewhere else? Let's look at my little list. I've got <clears throat> uh, Oh this is an interesting one. Prismatics the Grand Prismatic Spring, I can't even say it, at Yellowstone. Plane. 
So thanks for um, tuning in. It's me, Dom, from the Essential RC YouTube channel. Uh, just do this for a bit of fun. Upload a, an RC video every day, but it's just fun to do a bit of live streaming and to actually talk to people who watch the channel. So thanks very much for tuning in. Um, again, this is a location I tried earlier. I just thought it was quite nice. The Grand Prism Prismatic Spring. In Yellowstone. I thought this was quite nice. See some, you can tell some places they have gone to a lot of effort to model them nicely. And I thought this is quite good. This, uh, these real locations. Natural beauty. And uh, there you go. So unfortunately, that's where I've got to end it today. But thanks very much for tuning in. And uh, we uh, saw a few locations there. Some of them quite good, actually. But we'll do it again soon. So uh, bye from me, Dom, on the Essential RC YouTube channel. You might want to subscribe. Click the bell icon for notifications of our uploads. But thanks for tuning in. See you next time.